In tonight's WGN Investigates, the popularity of vaping seemed to catch on overnight. Over the last decade, thousands of people looked at e-cigarettes as a safe alternative to smoking. Yeah, one man thought it would change his life, but never expected what came next. Investigative reporter Lourdes Duarte picks up the story from here. Well, right now, federal regulators are looking at the health impacts of vaping. The FDA even tried to get a vaping product off store shelves. But as that case plays out, thousands of other lawsuits are being filed, including one here in Illinois. The man you're about to meet says for him, vaping led to a brain injury so severe that he's navigating life in a wheelchair. One, two, three. <coughs> get up. At 62, Michael Lumpkins is starting over. Each day, rebuilding his strength. It seems so easy when somebody in the back is helping. And repairing his mind. Terrible. Things that I'm trying to, trying to remember, I can't remember five minutes later. That's because his cognitive skills are so diminished that he can barely tell the difference between right and left. It's going to bring you back here, Mike. He has a difficult time following even simple directions, which means his wife is his guide. Everyday basics are a battle. If I do it by myself, I fall. That's all there is to it. We're going to turn. You're going to have to pivot. Okay. Right? I'm going towards the chair. Yep. He's been like this for three years now. Good. No plopping. For the father of two who often wore a smile, life changed in a matter of days. I don't dress myself. My wife does that. There you go. Let's now take you back to how he got here. WGN Investigates obtained this 80-page lawsuit against Jewel Labs, one of the largest e-cigarette makers in the world. A multi-billion dollar business established seven years ago has been under fire lately as Americans question its safety. It's not uncommon for uh, when products come to market where you see these problems in the years that unfold. And when Juul first hit the market, it was billed as safer than smoking. Here's a print ad that circulated the country with the quote, it's a smart, really well thought out alternative to smoking. Lumpkins bought into those messages and just like thousands of others, turned to the popular product. The vaping about killed me, man, it did so. Unfortunately, I did not know that at the time. What he didn't know was what came next. <laughs> within a year, he says he developed pneumonia. And even while taking antibiotics, within days, the infection traveled to his brain. Unfortunately, Mr. Lumpkin's case, where the um, infection seated was in his cerebral space, which is a very, very rare type of infection. The dual use reduced his ability, his body's ability to fight off the disease. Medical researchers across the country have been piecing together what little data there is out there that connects vaping and the risk of infection. I think vaping can make you more susceptible to an infection, and I think we have good evidence to support that statement. What studies have shown is that use of e-cigarettes allows for or promotes infections at higher rates than even cigarette smoking. And we also see that in people who vape, the responses of some of the cells that attack bacterial or other pathogens like neutrophils are impaired. The lawsuit put together by Chicago attorney Smith and Lacine blames the e-cigarette maker for not posting warnings about the risk. For Lumpkins, the infection led to lesions in his brain, similar to what you would see as part of a brain injury. The damage clearly changed his life. One, two, three. Come on, Mike. He's struggling to walk ah. and struggling to cope. Even during this short interview with us, he breaks down. The embarrassment. So that's it. Not being a, I feel like I'm a wimp. So, but it's beating the hell out of me. As thousands of vaping lawsuits wind their way through courts. Do you think that's going to be okay today? I think it'll be fine. Lumpkins knows his case is a rare one. I want to be able to walk up the stairs to my children's home. <laughs> It's a step he takes to warn others about an industry that some argue kept people in the dark. Stop now. The vaping about killed me. 
And in 2021, the CDC and the FDA estimated that 2 million middle and high school students were using e-cigarettes. Recently, the FDA banned Juul Labs from selling the product while they study the long-term health impacts. The ban is on hold, though, during the company's appeal. The Lumpkins case is still in the discovery phase. We did reach out to Juul Labs, but they did not respond to our request for comment. Lourdes Duarte, WGN Investigates.